I'd rev up my engine, but nobody would notice. <laughs> the whole group could be revving their engines and nobody would notice. Uh, we'd hear this one. So this uh, VFR, the TAC, redlines over 10 grand. <laughs> over 10 grand. I'd love to ride that. Yeah, I turned off my motorcycle so that van would start moving. Because that's how it works. Uh Cut in front of this car. Whee! Next stop is Cumberland Farms, I believe. Yeah, that's what the email said. Stop and get a refreshing carbonated soda. How about that? I think I'll have myself a refreshing iced coffee. So if you'll remember last week, I was complaining that I was running wide in a lot of my turns. And part of it was I was nervous because alone with his BMW was coming up behind me quite quickly. Right. But a big part of it was I was getting out of the habit of um, intentional counter steer. So uh, early in the week, last week, I went back and rewatched Twist of the Wrist, mm -hmm. the video series, right? The really cheesy, cheesy 90s video series by Keith Code, yep. the racing instructor. And it's all about counter steer. I mean, he's Mr. Counter Steer. He's got that cool motorcycle with two pairs of handlebars on it. You seen this? Yep. Yeah, with two handlebars on it, and one of them's fixed, doesn't move, and you know somebody tries to lean the bike and get it to move without a handlebars working, and it just won't go right. It's a really cool video series. But so for the rest of the week, riding to work every day, it's real intentional. Push the bars real hard. Push them deep in. And I got my mojo back. I'm feeling much more confident again this the past few days, just with intentional counter steer, push the bars deep into the turn. It's just funny how you know something, you learn something, and then you can get out of the habit. You can start doing something wrong repeatedly. Right. Now, that is a really, really good but cheesy video. Um, oh, the, the production quality. you gotta, you got to get past that, right? Exactly. You know, I bear told with it for the first five minutes, but the information in it, Really, really good. Yeah, I had my boys watch it, and I said, listen, just enjoy the cheesiness for the cheesiness sake. It is super cheesy. Just enjoy that for part of it. Who cares? The content is top show. And there were some cool 90 sport bikes in there, too. And a little bit of cheese is good, by the way. Right. It goes good with ham. Uh-huh. There's definitely a such thing as too much cheese.